I'm going to be chatting to Luke Simon, who's our founder and chief exec, you can see on the screen here, all about the money that Ed Pratt raised when he unicycled around the world. It's enabled an awful lot of projects to be done. He raised over £300,000. So, Luke, first of all, welcome. And Good morning. <laughs> we're going to be talking about the huge number of school bags that Ed has raised money for. And one of the projects is Uganda. So 4,833 school bags into Uganda. Tell us about that. Well, that's a, an existing project that we've got with um, some, some big partners over in Uganda. And it's effectively it's supporting a refugee camp called Bidi Bidi. Uh, and Bidi Bidi is a huge sprawling area, which is 200 kilometers square, filled with seven or eight massive refugee camps. And it's full of, uh, of uh, people from South Sudan who fled the conflict. And so our partners there have put the school bags together for us, East African Playgrounds, but it's actually Plan International who will be distributing them um, in the next week or so. Um, now we've funded 4,833 bags there, but Plan have said that for the children they're supporting they could do with 20,000, uh, but actually in Bidi Bidi refugee camps they could do with 500,000 bags. So you know, Ed's contribution is, is really significant, but the numbers there are just gigantic. But it's brilliant for us to be making a difference to that many children in, in one section of that huge camp. So that's our biggest project. And from Uganda, we go to Romania, 50 school bags in Romania. So when Ed was up in Newcastle at uh, unicycle.com, uh, when you visited him, he, he packed those 50 bags. We've just had a consignment of 1,200 school bags go off to Romania last week. They've probably arrived now, and our partners, T Ord Romania, will be handing those out. So, again, you know, just wonderful to be distributing money, uh, Ed's money, in, in various countries around the world where we've got established partners. And India, we've got two projects in India. One is 1,600 school bags, and one is 1,000 school bags. So, first, the 1,600 school bags. That's yeah, I mean that's with uh, RDWS, which is um, they're based both based on the on the east coast. So the Rural Development Welfare Society uh, is an established partner that we have, um, fantastic organisation, and they've put together several consignments of bags for us now. And then Mercy and Grace, which is a thousand bags, I think we're on about phase ten with them. They're based down near Vijay Awadia, and um, uh, again valued, established. Uh, partners that we've got who are who's sourcing all the stock locally and putting the bags together in country to make a significant difference to the children that they support. Excellent and from India to Cambodia 430 bags in Cambodia. Yeah again long established um, partners that we've got doing work called EduKid uh, and they're actually supporting schools uh, north of Siem Reap in Cambodia in the northern provinces up near the border there so uh, we've we've worked with EduKid for the last couple of years uh, on uh, and generally we, we fund a consignment a summer ready for the bags to be handed out at the start of the school term so again great to be doing 430 bags which is the amount that they ask for. Cambodia we cross over to Tanzania and that's 1,511 bags in Tanzania. Yeah uh, Tanzania is a, a, a long established partnership with us we work with um, uh, a charity called Irudi, which is the Iringa Rural Development Initiative, run by a fantastic guy called Willard. And Willard will send us, you know, um, his request, and uh, we've been able to fulfil two consignments with Ed's money. Uh, and Willard sends us a photograph of every single child with their bag, along with a request for the next number of bags. And one of the differences that um, is probably a slightly cultural difference that we're not used to is that. The bags in Uganda, go, in Tanzania, sorry, go to the most vulnerable children, the MVCs. So it's it's well recognised that there are children within the classes that need help, and uh, our school bags go to those those poorest of children. Amazing. And then from Tanzania to Sri Lanka, 700 school bags in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an interesting project. We've done uh, four consignments there. It's with Yala Fund. Uh, they're based in the southeast, but it's run by an English guy who visited Sri Lanka after the tsunami, and he just felt compelled to, to stay uh, and help. And so there's a, there's a historical connection there. We were both born out at the same tragedy. Um, and his organisation supports children in and around those, those Yala districts. Uh, our second ever consignment went to Sri Lanka, uh, so it's nice to be going back to some of our roots and I think we'll be replenishing some of the bags from, uh, that were distributed you know, some seven, eight years ago. So a great, a great project to be, to be supporting there again. 
and Ghana. Ghana's uh, more recent partnership yes. set up, and that's 1,200. And, and there's something a bit different about the bags in Ghana. There are, yeah. So we can show you an example of one of our one of our bags in Ghana. They're like this. And funnily enough, they're uh, they're made of recycled water sachets uh, by a, a terrific um, organisation called Trashy Bags. But we've been working to fulfil a consignment of 3,500 bags with a charity called SEDEC and their School for Life programme. And Ed's money just enabled us to get just a little bit further down the line in that consignment, um, you know, working towards completing that number. But again, great to be working on a, on a slightly different initiative. The bags made out of rubbish are doing three things. They're effectively cleaning up the environment, they're providing local employment for the trashy bag team, and of course we get extremely happy children at the end of it who receive a school bag. And from Ghana across to Nepal, 4,650 bags in Nepal. Yeah, I mean, we've been working in Nepal for, for many a year now, actually since 2012. And through Jimmy um, Lama, who runs the Helambu Education Livelihood Partnership, uh, we've actually handed out about 12,000 bags in Nepal now to children in well over 100 schools. And, and such is the success of School in a Bag in that district that Jimmy had at least 20 schools that were sort of waiting on the list uh, to receive a school bag and Ed's money has just enabled us to say yeah we can do all of them you know we've never been in that position before um, so the bags are actually put together in country the contents really do mirror ours except the lunch box is a tiffin box rather than our little triangular one and um, it's just fan fantastic to be able to uh, make such a difference really to um, to those children in the pool um, in that in those areas and of course so many of the children are still affected by the 2015 earthquakes that's amazing so that's nine projects in eight countries 15,474 school bags that's that's an awful lot of children who'll be helped so is this happening now or is it happening in a few months time or When's it all happening? Well, it's happened now. You know, Ed's money came into our account uh, in July and effectively it's gone. Uh, so it was very nice to look after it for a very short amount of time. But, you know, the money was given to us to, to try and fulfil this target we have of, uh, of trying to distribute 100,000 school bags by the end of 2018. So we were the custodians of the money for a very short period of time, but it's all gone out to those partners who are now either receiving bags we've shipped or they're actually waiting and sourcing all the stock locally to then hand it out. And the very first bags have actually been handed out already. Uh, so our bags in Nepal, thanks to Jimmy, um, actually have Ed's WorldUnicycle.com logo on them as well. So there's a lovely reference there, and if we can do it on our other projects, we will. But it's all happening now so that we can hopefully get these bags handed out by the end of the year and fulfill the whole reason why this, this big donation was given to us in the first place. Amazing, and uh, we need another few of those donations to do a few more thousand school bags. We do, we absolutely do. We need, a, we need Egg to do a return leg, really. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, thank you very much for getting us up to date on that, and uh, we hope you enjoyed watching this video.